Ow! What? What's going on? What? Ah! Stop! Ah! Oh my god! I can't... Okay, that was an interesting start. Hello everyone, Yul and Yolandos here. Welcome back to episode 3 of my AVP Let's Play series. We are... What the... Oh my god! Are you kidding me? What? What? Ow! What? What's going on? What? Ah! Stop! Ah! Oh my god! I can't... Okay, that was an interesting start. Um... Why are there Xenomorphs outside the house? I don't know what's going on. All I know is there should be enough there that it's lagging my screen. Oh, God. Um. Ow. Ow. Stop. Oh, this is bad. Oh, my God. We have so much lag. Oh, man. Hmm. All right. Let's, um... Let's craft a sword up. Uh, I need a really... Baller sword as well. The best sword I know that exists is the AVP sword. It's got like 11 attack damage or 7 attack damage or something. Somewhere around here. Here it is, the Celtic sword. Alright, so that's got a recipe of a stick and some ti titanium ingots on top of each other. So let me get that done and I'll be back. Okay, I've got it going on, the Celtic sword. It's freaking sick. It's got like 12 attack damage. Um, I think i got to make some armor before I go out there. So, yeah, I was able to actually quickly run up there. I don't know how I survived it, but grab the rest of my stuff. I, I don't know if some of it despawned, but whatever. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I, I was literally outside just like five minutes before popping out at the start of this episode. And then they popped out of nowhere. Like, I don't even think they spawned in naturally. I'm starting to think, like, something fishy was going on. Oh my god, let me out, let me out. Oh god, oh god, here we go, here we go! Ah! Oh god, three seconds! No, go away, I'm gonna die! No! Not again! Okay, cool, cool, I'm not dying. Go away. Oh my god, it's deteriorating everything! Why is he not dying? I'm clicking like mad. He's not dying. Oh god. Oh god. There's another one out there. I can see his little feet. <laughs> oh. oh god. No. No. <laughs> oh god. God damn it, Ira. Stop barking. My dog's barking. This is not the time! Oh god. Why are you not dying? I want to kill you. You're evil. Oh god. Alright, here we go. Oh. Right. Oh god! <laughs> no, it's not dying. Get off! Off! I know it's probably up. Oh god, no! Stop! Oh, oh god. What's going on? Oh god. Ow! Ow! It's on my face! It's on my face! I can't kill it! Oh my... It... It's... You... Oh god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Everything's turning out so badly! Give me my stuff back! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Where's my sword? Wait, where'd the face I could- Oh, there's still one there. Cool. Go away. Shoo. Where's my sword? Great. My- My ball of sword is gone. Oh, no, there it is. Cool. Oh my god. No. Bad. No. Very bad. No- Oh god. No. No. Bad. No. Oh, I don't need you right now. Oh gosh. Oh, oh my god, there's so many of them. 
Nope. Nope. Actually, no. I won't be ever even able to get out. Oh no, I'm gonna die! Um. Cool. Okay. Let's go heal up for a bit. Oh my god. Acid is very destructive. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. Did I- How did I get a face hugger in my inventory? Is that even possible? What? I have no idea. What? What? Whatever. Cool. We'll keep that for experimentation purposes. But... I... Things are very confusing right now. I don't know what's going on. Cool. You can stay in there. <laughs> that is weird. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Um... Should be okay now. Alright. There's one over there. There's two over there. This one seems a little bit stuck. Maybe I can go for him. Ow. Cool. That's dead. Oh, is that royal jelly? No, 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 no. That acid kills you so quickly. <laughs> Oh, uh, did they hurt my farm? No, my farm's fine. Okay, so jump over the acid. Grab all my stuff again for the third time. No, no, I want my stuff. Ow, ow. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, got everything? Have I got everything? Okay, cool, I got everything, okay. Still two more to kill. Then we can maybe continue with the episode. That'd be nice. Oh god. No, I'm uh, low on health. I should probably give them a miss for a second. Let me heal up again. This is insane. I'm not... I wasn't expecting this. Uh, by the way, I've been cooking up a whole bunch of stone. Um, I'm just trying to casual talk to relax myself because there's two Xenos outside probably possibly going to try and kill me. And we've got just a whole bunch of stuff. We, we did a lot of mining. Um, and I saved for, I got some molten iron in there. See, I figured this out. If I quickly right click on the smelty controller, quickly look at what's inside it, then exit it instantly. It doesn't crash. But if I stay in there for more than like three seconds, it crashes the game. So it, it's really weird. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I was saving the iron in there to show you I'm going to be crafting an awesome hammer. And, and also I got a few different magical, magical crop stuff. I also crafted this infusion stone which is what I need to start making some pretty cool seeds but anyway I need to get food food there's food come on I gotta have some food eh. any food no food really because a cucumber will do I'll grab uh, some raspberries too okay here we go I'm gonna finish them off Bring it on. Bring it. Holy fuck, that took a lot of damage. Oh my god. He nearly killed me in three hits. Okay, eat again. Alright. Let's do this. And again. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, by the way, do I have a... Oh, yes, I do. Oh, my God. Bada, bada, bada. <laughs> That's so cool. Blah. <laughs> awesome. Apparently, Xenos can't get through by through a hole like that, so that should be fine. I'm curious, can a drone get through a hole like that? I'm pretty sure it can. Yeah, drones can get through holes like that. And just out of more curiosity, I'm pretty sure they can get through one by hole, one holes. No, really? They can't? Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, so everything's dead. We can start the episode. And I'm going to go back into you one. Cool. Okay. So. <laughs> what were we going to get done this episode? Well, 
I, off camera, built the blast door and a generator. And also, on that note, I had to remove the personalized we weapon. Bleh. Recipes mod because it's being very weird. Um, even when I um, hosted this on single player, um, I should probably grab a, grab a shovel, but I'll do this just to piss you off. Um, even when I hosted this on single player, um, it still couldn't remember the recipes I did. So cool, blast door, nice. And um, yeah, anyway. Um, Still couldn't remember most of the recipes I was putting in. Well, any of them for that matter. So I had to just get rid of it because it was just a waste of space in the mods folder. So it's okay if you do it all in one session, but personalized rep recipes mod doesn't seem to be working and it was discontinued as well. So yeah, well, all right, awesome. Is there any gaps up here? Okay, there was also another block I wanted to craft that would probably go along with this called the factory block. Uh, it's this one. Uh, it's right there. And use chisel to achieve it. So you get iron, stone, and that's it. Cool. We'll craft that. Have I got my chisel on me? Cool. By the way, you can do this with the chisel. Bam. 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 It's cool. <laughs> Alright. So... Alright. What was I grabbing? Fantasy blocks. Okay, cool. Just need stone. Which should be in here. I've got it ready. Alright, so... Yeah, I I need to clean up this area a bit. I did clean it up a bit. I've set up a few different things around here. I've cleaned up, like, chests and all that now. I don't know. It's just... It's a little better, but, um... Come back. It's still very cramped. Um, so, we'll craft that... Uh, factory block. So... Cool. Then, factory block. One, two, three. One, two, three... Yeah, that'll be enough. And then... We'll use chisel. We'll grab this guy. Then we'll chuck this thing. Now, does that look good in comparison to that? I'm not sure. I guess... I could replace the entryway with, like, hazard stuff. But it's not really doing that well in comparison to... Um, the door and the actual... Because the house is made out of cobblestone, it's not working out well. But I could definitely do something like with that after the episode's done. I just don't want to build on camera too much, so... Looks cool. Alright, so I'll put them away. That can go in there for now. Um, okay, cool. So I wanted to craft that massive iron hammer for you guys to see as well. And I'm already out of food again. Um, great. No blackberries. And also, the essence stuff is nearly... It's going really well. Um, I think I've got one more essence plant out there. Over here. So, come on, give me another seed. Do you give me another seed? Nice. Cool. So I can get rid of chili. Cool. Um, then I can get rid of grapes as well. So, eat that grape. And then place the grape seed. I need to expand the farm as well. So, anyway... So anyway, last of all, but not least, before I finally get around to what I said I would, um, I'm going to show you what this mod can do. So if I grab this essence stone and mix it with that stuff, I get one of them. And these guys can be used to upgrade into stronger essences. Or you can make um, a whole bunch of other different types of seeds, like there's water seeds, fire seeds, earth, earth seeds, air seeds. It's pretty cool. So, I actually thought there wasn't any crafting recipes for it. But for some reason, now they're popping up. I don't know. Anyway, and that guy doesn't get doesn't get consumed in the process. But you need a lot of essence for that to work. Okay. Finally, we're getting to the main point. Alright, so we'll make a... I already made the castings. We'll pour some iron into a hammerhead cast. Then we'll pour some iron into a large plate cast twice over. Okay, we can put that one away. As you can see, I'm using my brain, trying to make sure I don't access the smelter root controller so it doesn't crash. One more of them. 
Then after we're done with that one, we make the tool rod. Cool. And then we just put that away. And then we make the tool rod. And then any remainder iron, I just want to convert into blocks. And there's also one other thing I wanted to do as well. Was make a scythe. Because I want to get rid of all the seeds outside the house and just clear away the land a bit. So that should be everything. So now I can probably craft it. Got the hammer. Cool. Hammerhead. Iron large plates. Nice. Xeno killer. I'm not really going to kill Xenos with it, but if I come across them, I'm going to bonk them over the head with it. Nice. Okay. So there was also one more thing I wanted to make. It was called the scythe. I just need a tough binding, two rods, and that thing. I think I already got all that ready. I accept the tough binding, so... That's okay. I'll just get that. Two of them. And I'll make the tough binding out of something else. But yeah, cool. Stone. And then we need... Do we get two? No, we need one more. And then we need the scythe head. So I'm just crafting all this on camera because this is like... Probably the highest tech I'll ever go with my tools. Like, you can go even higher if you go into the nether and farm this custom ore called... Ardite and Cobalt. But, uh, honestly... I'll probably do that later on. Not not anytime soon, though. We'll be going into the nether, but not this episode. Cool. Okay. Scythe. Bam. Bam. Bam, bam. Scythe. Cool. Okay, this guy should allow me... to... Cool. There's better scythes you can get off other mods, um, but, I mean, for now, this is okay. And also, I don't really have any other mods with the scythes on them. I couldn't really have it anyway, because it was crashing my game, some of the ones that I tried to put in. So, yeah, I can make this stuff look nice and pretty. Also, going to redo the farm as well, make sure it's all nice. So, yes, I tried putting in that other minimap mod someone suggested. That didn't work either. The game doesn't like me. <laughs> It's just horrible. So yeah. Alright. I'm going to clean up around here a little bit. And I'll be back. By the way, popping back for half a second. I think I've already told you about this. But just to make sure. Any blocks that can be altered using chisel. Once they're placed down in the world. You can actually modify them a little bit. So like here. Like these blocks that I already had. I'm just changing the look of it. Because I just think it. I'm just getting sick of the old look. So that's something pretty neat. You don't have to break the glass and recraft the glass. So you can just, like for instance, if you want to have that sort of glass at the back and this one okay, over here. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Now seriously, I'll be back. All right. So I'm back for a second. I want to show you something that's pretty cool. Grab some iron. Um, I was thinking about actually setting up a proper thing out there and making a proper seed area. So ta-da iron chests if we mix the iron with all that and stuff and we can constantly keep upgrading it and it gets bigger and bigger as you upgrade it so anyway i wanted a chest out there just for the seeds and all that and the hoe and dirt and water and all that stuff probably a bad idea to do it at night time but it should be fine there's an enderman over there cool all right so anyway all right yes probably a bad time <laughs> he popped out of nowhere so i did that one come here Come here. There we go. Okay. Uh, yep. Very bad time. <laughs> Alright, let me sleep. Okay. Just gonna do a quick scope for creepers. <laughs> There's one over there. And then we'll get started. Okay, cool. So, I'm so lucky I looked at him. <laughs> Don't explode. Thank you. I really hate cleaning up after you guys. Alright. So, any more? We all done? Nothing else? Cool. Okay. So, this essence stuff, I really want to get into it, because you can make a whole bunch of stuff with it, and it'll make things a lot easier, and even if we get so advanced far into it or something, it might even stop us from mining, because you can grow ore. So, basically, can I do stuff with it? No, I can't. Cool. Anyway, so I just wanted to grow this out even more. That'd be cool. Uh, get rid of that. And while I'm doing this as well, I think I'm going to light up around the area a massive amount, because... I don't think those Xenos spawned. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure it had something to do with the Predators. Because um, I haven't seen any whatsoever since I started. It's been like, I don't know how many Minecraft days, but it's been a very long time. And I still haven't seen any naturally spawn. So I have a feeling 
predators had something to do with it. Um, yeah, so that's probably a problem. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to deal with that. So, might as well make some fences. And we're going to get that whole seed farm going on. Uh, I'm also going to make a proper hoe with sticks first. And there we go. Cool. Alright. I'm going to go clean up that thing outside and make it look nice and fancy. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like. By the way, guys, I was able to kill a bat um, during the process of... Well, while, while I was recording, uh, not while I was recording, I mean while I was, wasn't recording in the caves, now I can fly. So that's an epic bonus for building. That's going to make building a lot more easier and more fun as well. The downside is you can see my hearts. I have three hearts when I'm a bat. So I definitely don't want to be doing this at night time. <laughs> so yeah, so this is what it's looking like so far. I'm going to knock out the middle there so maybe you can see the... Um, garden easier from the outside, but basically I'm going to have a door here or something, but it's it's not the prettiest. It could look so much better if I added the mod um, carpenter's blocks, but honestly, I just can't be bothered at the moment, so we'll just go with it for now, and um, yeah, I'll be back. Popping back for half a second. I'm establishing now that I'm going to fix up this entire underground area. I'm also going to expand this house out a bit more, but not in this episode, probably in between episodes, but I'm just showing you how I make the castings. So, I got some gold, molt, molten gold in there, and I'm just pouring it over the template. And I, I want to make an excavator, so that's going to be cool. I also want to make a lumber axe head as well, for cutting down some trees, because I'm running low on wood. So, if I just get some wood to make um, another pattern. And a few more. There we go. Cool. And then chuck that in there. And then do that. Broad axe head pattern, I think it is the one. And then we chuck that in there. We'll make a template for that. Then chuck that in there. And there we go. Nice. And then we use an ingot cast to get rid of the rest of the gold in there. Nice. Okay, so now I can make some pretty neat tools. So I'll go make those tools off camera and I'll show you what they do afterwards. Okay guys, I got them crafted. The lumber axe and the excavator. I'm also crafting some other stuff, but basically this excavator can mine a 3x3 three three area with dirt um, or sand or whatever you can dig with shovels. And that's pretty neat. So I'm also crafting a custom, what do you call it? Pickaxe. So that's going to be nice. So I'm just going to make this area really big, like proper big and... Make it nice and livable. So, I'll do that. And then we'll probably finish up the episode because I've been recording for quite a while. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, I'll be back in a second. Alright, guys, so I think that's about it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just going to continue making this little underground area off camera. And I'll see you guys next episode. Adios.